In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to remove green screen and bring in your own background and to use color correction and effects to make it as realistic as possible. In the edit page, it's quick, it's easy and it does a good job for normal looking shots. We're going to be using this clip. You can see the green screen is even, the color is almost even throughout the screen and it's going to be an easy job to remove the green screen out of it. Yes, we might have some problems around the hair over here. So we need to go into effects and then we need to go into open effects and search for something called 3D gear. Drag in that 3D gear on top of it. Now you can see the picker tool is selected, but we can't click on the screen to pick up the green color. And that's because we haven't selected the open effects overlay in this window. So we'll have to enable that. So once this is selected, we can click on this. So click and keep dragging around the areas that you want to remove. All of these gray areas, they need to be removed and make sure that you're not selecting any part of your subject so that it is not being removed. Okay, it has done a good job, but the main problem that we were worried about is the hair. We can see a lot of spill around in the hair. To get rid of that, there's going to be a very, very simple fix over here and that's called despill. Let me just zoom in and let's see how good of a job it does. So if we increase the despill over here, it can simply get rid of any of the spill that is there in the greens. You can also play around with the other settings like matte finesse. And this is the place where you can adjust the, the edges and the overall key that you have created. Clean black is something that's going to shrink the mask in a softer way. Clean white is something that's going to grow the mask in a softer way. And then black clip is something that's going to shrink the mask, but in a hard way, not in a soft way. Same thing with the white clip. Then you also have a blur radius over here. We can increase or decrease the blur radius of the mask that we have created. Most of the time, the main thing that you have to do would be pick up a screen color and then just despill it. That's it. That's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and add in our background. Now, when you're adding in background for something, make sure that you're using an image that actually matches with the angle of the shot, that matches kind of with the lighting of the shot so that it looks a little believable. So let's go to the backgrounds and let's see which backgrounds do we have. Okay, so I mean, this is not a good angle. It, this is a higher angle. And if we look at our footage, it's kind of a lower angle. So probably this might be a thing that would suit it because it's also a lower angle. So I'm going to add it. This doesn't quite suit in the way the lighting looks. So we can adjust that in the color page. Let me just increase that in size because the resolution of the picture is not uh, exact. So let's just increase that in size a little bit. All right, it looks good. Let's go to the color page. We can see that this one is a little too bright. The first thing that I want to do is I want to bring the highlights down. The highlights are too much on this clip. You know, you can see the arms over here. So the first thing, let's bring the highlights down. Somewhere around here would work, I suppose. Let's also bring the gain down a little bit. These are the bright areas. Now, I would also like to bring in the gamma down a little bit so that we could match the blacks of the shot with the blacks of this person's footage. Let's bring the gamma down. That's where it's kind of matches. Now it feels like, you know, there's another source of light behind the camera that's probably, you know, filling her. Then one other thing that's probably not too right about the shot is that the white balance. We can see a lot of yellow in there outside and warmth outside. So we want to also adjust the white balance so that it looks a little more closer to that. So let's go around here. Okay, that matches much, much better. I'm not going to go too extreme, but around here matters too good. Let's see the before and after. All right, we have tried to match it much better with this now. All right, let's label this as exposure. There's one other thing that I want to do. I'm going to add in a new node for that. Option S, new node, and let's call this tone. So I want to match the tone of this shot with the overall tone of the background. As you can see in the background, we can see that in the shadows, there's a little bit of a blue in there. So I want to match that blue in the hair over here. Let's try to do that. So over here, I'm going to go to the lift, which are the dark areas. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of blue in the lift. 
I'm going to carefully figure out which blue I want to bring in and how much I want to bring in. All right, I don't, I don't want to go too extreme. So around here, I suppose, is a very good mix of that. It just kind of matches with the blues over here. Now it looks much more realistic. Now, what next? One other thing that we can do up over here is that we can now go back to the edit page and we can add in a little bit of a blur in the background. Um, normally, if you're in the studio version, you can add in a lens blur topped up with the depth map. But uh, if you're using the free version, you can just come up over here and you can search for blur. And we can use a Gaussian blur also over here. So we can add in the blur and I'm going to make it a little less somewhere around here. And I'm applying that blur onto the background just to give it a little more realistic feel. Somewhere around here would work. Sometimes just going too extreme might not work. So I think a little bit like this would work. Now, one other thing that I see around here in the edges is that there are some edges very clearly visible over here. So let's go back to this. We'll go into the matte finish and I would like to do a little bit of a clean black. Let's try to increase that a little bit. And I want to keep the overall image in shape to see, you know, if you're not removing any other parts of the clip, especially the hair. So I'm going to increase the clip black, clean black a little bit. And somewhere around here. Yes, it is removing a little bit of the things of the hair, but that's not really bad considering the background that we have. And you can see it did a pretty nice job around there. Yeah, it looks kind of believable. To make things a little more interesting on this shot, we can add in a fake camera shake. So we can go into effects, effects again, and let's type in. So we have adjustment clip over there. Let's drag in this adjustment clip and let's add in a camera shake on top of it. Open effects, let's type in camera shake add this onto the adjustment clip so you can see initially it just looks too bad so we need to set up few settings to make it look realistic first of all i don't want it to be that much in speed so let's reduce the speed scale okay that looks fine we can kind of reduce the motion scale as well we can increase the pan amplitude so that the pan and the tilt are same and then to make it random you can just make the randomness scale you can increase that and now let's see how it looks. And it can give you like a realistic kind of a camera shake over there. But this is something really optional. It depends on the narrative. It depends on the taste. I hope you like the video. Consider subscribing. Drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.